Thank you very much, Money Plays. Give it for Mike, your host. It's so... Yeah. You know what? He's, he's a brave guy coming out here when he's four months pregnant like he is. So... Uh, I'm, uh, I just moved to Vegas a few months ago from uh, Reno, Nevada, Northern Nevada. Uh, if you're from Vegas, me saying I'm from Northern Nevada, you sound, it sounds to you like I'm from the heart of Africa because you have no idea what it looks like up there. Like If you're from Vegas and I walked up to you and I would go to, and I said to you, like, hey, what's North of Las Vegas? You'd be like, what am I, an idiot? North Las Vegas, you retard. Duh. Okay, what's north of that? Canada. Get out of my face. Like, that's standard Las Vegas geography skills right there. I, I, lo I, loved, I really love northern Nevada. I really love that. We got some small towns, though, some weird small towns. Uh, one town, uh, it's called Fallon, Nevada. Fallon has about 15,000 people. Its major export is alfalfa and horse manure. Uh, when you drive into Fallon, Nevada, they have a sign that says, Welcome to Fallon, the Oasis of Nevada. I think they should change their sign to, Welcome to Fallon, we don't know what the word Oasis means. <laughs> Another town up there is called Urington, Nevada. I did a show in Urington one time. Got pulled over. A uh, cop came up to our window. He's like, you know what? I pulled you over, son. I was like, speeding. He's like, that's right, son. We we'll do things a little bit slower out here in Urington. I was like, man, I'd hate to get raped in Urington. <laughs> But I uh, was born and raised here in Nevada. I love Nevada. Rather live here than a lot of other states like uh, Texas. I hate Texas. Not Texas. This Everybody ever been to Texas? Heard of Texas? Yeah. Okay, you guys should leave this part because you're not going to enjoy it. But uh, it's not, it's not, te you're, you're moving to Texas tomorrow? Oh, uh, I hope it's not there. I hope somebody wiped it off the map. It's not, okay, it's not Texas the place, it's Texas the people. Because the people of Texas are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Retarded is the word I'm looking for. Because when you're in Texas, Texas is its own country, it's its own planet, it's its own universe, you know? I was in Texas one time, this guy looks at me, he's like, you got a funny accent, son, where are you from? I said, I'm from Nevada. He was like, Nevada? Part Texas is that. It's like the northeast side, sir, by New Zealand. He's like, you saying you're from Texas, boy? I'm like, no, sir, I'm not from Texas. He was like, pussy. <laughs> Later that day, I'm talking to a Baptist minister because I was there for a church retreat like 10 years ago when I was, at, never mind. Uh, so <laughs> talking to a Baptist minister, and he's like, did you know there's more Southern Baptist churches in Texas than the rest of the world combined? I said, no, sir, I didn't know that. He was like, what religion are you, son? I said, I'm a Catholic. He's like, Catholic? You still follow a dogmatic oligarchy completely controlled by the whims of one dictator? I said, yes, sir. He was like, mm, pussy. <laughs> and by the way, that's not a fun sound effect that I created just now. That's me inhaling through my nose. So life is tough for Matt Wiegand. Uh, <laughs> everything's bigger in Texas. It's supposed to be a good thing, you know? I, I don't think it's a good thing at all because I think there's a lot more bad shit in the world. Like, sure, cookies are like Frisbees in Texas, but what about the bad shit in the world? What about, like, hemorrhoids? <laughs> Hemorrhoids in Texas are like coffee mugs hanging off your ass, ready to explode. What about like cockroaches? Cockroaches in Texas are three feet long. They come to your house at night, steal your children, raise them as their own. What about like the worst of the worst? What about like child molesters? Child molesters in Texas used to play linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys, okay? Guy like that comes after your kid, you're gonna be like, go with the nice man, Billy. Some cowboy fans. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I draw the? Did you draw the line right there? Whoa, sir! Cowboys for life. So uh, I I got a steady job for the first time in my life. I'm a teacher, and uh, I'm a single guy. So all the other teachers, all the lady teachers, which is literally every other teacher at my school, has decided to get me married right now. And they're like, Well, Matt. Now's the time. You're 27 years old. You got to get married. And I said, well, I don't know if I'm ready to smugly talk down to all the single people in my life. <laughs> you know, I'm going to end it on that. I don't remember the rest of my new jokes. We'll just, we'll just do that. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Matt Wiegand. Have a good night.